Hi everyone, it's Carrie over at DoubleClick. Today I am sharing a swap that I am doing with Elizabeth over at the Crafty Cricut. I will link her channel down below. She left a message that she was interested in some of the sticker flakes and the little notebooks that I hauled. And so we agreed to do a swap and it was, we just decided to send each other a bunch of stuff from our stash. I'm shipping hers in a flat rate mailer, $9.65. And you can pack these pretty full. Use these because they're under $10 and you can always fit more than $10 worth of crafty goodies in those. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby on clearance and I picked up two because I'm doing two swaps. It's one of the chunky notebooks that comes with a pen. It's totally super cute. Gonna fit that in there. I had this set of stamps that she did not have this set. So I'm going to be gifting her these. I'm also sending her this large roll of, it's like a washi masking tape, and then also this washi tape from Glitz. Seeing this pouch of mixed buttons, a baggie of wood veneer cameras, a couple different styles in there. I made this little envelope and inside I have a few stickers, different kinds of butterfly ones. This is part of the actual swap. What I've done is I had two duplicate notebooks, so I'm sending her those. And then these are all the other pages that I pulled out of the notebooks that I only had one copy of. So a whole variety of notebook papers, some notebooks. This was part of her request for the swap. This is a little baggie of pet related, all puppies. I have some large puppy die cuts. I know she makes cards some paw stickers. These are tiny sticker flakes that are all puppies. And then I've included a little baggie that has all puppy dog related brads in it. And in this little baggie that I'm not going to be sealing, I have including this package of pearls and this package of ribbon. In this pocket, I am including a variety of stickers and these are all stickers from my stash and hopefully she can use them and anything she doesn't like I hope that she will re-gift to someone else or send in happy mail to someone else so that she can keep only the items that she really enjoys. We have some butterfly bling, some more butterflies, So lots of fun stickers there. These are some bubble stickers. And this one that I had to fold in half. I tried to use a bunch of different style bags so that she can reuse these in her future Happy Mail projects. In this one, I've included some really nice trim that has that pink fringe. I've just wrapped it around a card. And in this little bag, I've included some items from Creative Charms. We have some butterflies, some flowers, and some brad flowers. In this bag, I have included some extra bags. These are little paw prints. We have some different colored sacks. In this bag that I'm reusing from Ginger, I'm sending her this little card kit packet. I found this crafting die at the dollar store. She said she doesn't have this one, so that was very exciting. I've never seen dies at my dollar store before, so this was a good find. And then I had two of these, so I'm gifting her one of these also said that she likes owls and I didn't have much owl supply but I had these cute stickers so I'm going to send her those and these cool bookmarkers like the big giant jumbo clips. 
So I'm going to send her those and hopefully she will find a good use for those. And I'm just putting these in like a vellum sleeve. And this also is part of the actual swap. I opened all of my packages and joined all my stickers into this box to share with her. So now she has lots of stickers. My sticker flake haul up above here. And I had, I think, two duplicates that I've shared. And then the rest I've just taken from my existing stash. That's my swap for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I hope that you enjoy these swap items. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. Have a great day.